Flying without feathers is difficult. Therefore, we don't live up to our aspirations. Instead, we perform at the level of our courage training, which is confined because the sky is the limit. One of the most prestigious occupations one may have is in the Air Force. The pride of being a freedom fighter is something that is rarely found in a career that is in the air, in the middle of the sky, or on the ground. Pilots are simply one component of the vast Air Force Department, which has several distinct sections. Air power alone can overcome it. Only a stronger Air Force can effectively neutralize or even stop an attacking Air Force. So, with its features and characteristics, the superior RC-135S Cobra Ball is set to depart. Without further ado, let's discover more about this aircraft. A long-range ballistic missile flight surveillance mason collection, the Boeing RC-135S Cobra Ball is outfitted with specialized electro-optical equipment. The Cobra Ball provides reconnaissance for treaty verification and theater ballistic missile proliferation by tracking missiles during their boost and re-entry phases and monitoring signals connected with missiles. In order to minimize sun glare for tracking cameras, the right wing and engines are generally painted black. The Joint Chiefs of Staff directed missions of national priority are flown by the RC-135S Cobra Ball to gather optical and electronic data on ballistic targets. This data is designed to help arms treaty compliance verification and development of U.S. strategic defense and theater missile defense concepts. It is outfitted with an array of optical and electronic sensors, recording devices, and communications hardware. Two pilots, one navigator, three electronic warfare officers, two airborne systems engineers, and two or more airborne mission experts are required as a minimum for a crew. The C-135 aircraft that were first modified in 1961 and used to operate out of Shimya AFB in Alaska in a 24-hour alert state are the ancestors of the present RC-135S aircraft. The RC-135S was initially used by Strategic Air Command to complete national intelligence collection tasks, and it also has taken part in operations enduring freedom and Iraqi freedom. The 55th Wing controls the Cobra Ball, which is manned by air crews from the 97th Intelligence Squadron and 45th Reconnaissance Squadron at various forward deployment sites throughout the world. So, the RC-135's pilots and navigators receive training on three different types of aircraft. One TC-135S is designated for Cobra Ball crew training, while the other two are designated as TC-135Ws for the Rivet Joint Fleet. Despite not carrying mission equipment, they have the same navigational systems as operating aircraft. To carry out signal intelligence missions for the RAF, the UK Ministry of Defense MOD, purchased three RC-135W Rivet Joint Reconnaissance aircraft on March 19, 2010, together with the related ground systems. As for the specifications, four F-108CF-201 high-bypass turbofan engines, each with a thrust capacity of 21,000 lbf, power the Boeing RC-135 aircraft. The U.S. military codename for the CFM-56 engine made by CFM International is F-108. The engine decreases pollutants, noise, and fuel consumption in accordance with the strict FAR-336 ingestion regulations. The engine is 2.43 meters long and 1.73 meters in diameter. RC-135 can climb at 1,490 meters per second. About 933 kmh is the aircraft's top speed, 5,550 kilometers and 15,200 meters 50, feet, are the range and service ceiling, respectively. Here we are towards the end. That is all for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon on your way out. See you all next time. Adios.